Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and the world of VR has seen quite a significant change over the last few years. Before we get into it though, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Oculus for sponsoring this video. When it first launched, the barrier to entry was pretty high. Not only did you have to pay good money for the VR equipment, you also needed a pretty high spec PC. And then there was the wires. If you went wire free, that meant a pretty subpar experience with a smartphone, which was essentially just 360 degree video, an uncomfortable headset, and very little in the way of freedom of movement. With Oculus Quest, things are very different indeed. We've spent a few days with it, and here are a few things that we really love. First up, it's wireless. Now, one of the best parts about the Oculus Quest is that there are no wires anywhere. The headset and the tech that powers it is all contained within the unit itself. It uses Wi-Fi to download games, apps and experiences directly to the headset and wirelessly tracks the controllers. There's no PC required. Second is that this is a high-end experience. We launched a number of games and apps and came away impressed with how good an experience it was. The images were clear and colourful and detailed, and more importantly, the animations are smooth and responsive to your gestures. We didn't end up feeling nauseous because the animation isn't smooth enough. This is a massive step up from phone-based systems. Plus the sound blasts into your ears without having to have them covered up by a pair of headphones. And that means you get the audio, but you can also hear what's going on around you at the same time. Third, and one of the most important things, is it's comfortable. The headset and the straps that secure it to your head are comfortable and lightweight. The padding inside the headset feels super comfy, and because it leaves a little gap for air, we didn't ever get sweaty or stuffy inside. It's one of the nicest VR headsets you can wear. And this extends to the controllers too. I find them really comfortable to use. They sit comfortably in the grip with controls in just the right places. It didn't take too long to figure out the controls, even with being immersed in a virtual mode and not looking at them. But if you do need a reminder, in many instances, 3D virtual versions of the controllers show up in your field of view. When they're not showing up as guns, sabers or tennis rackets. Fourth is cool games. Now, there are a number of games you can play available through Oculus's own app gallery. Whether you want to shoot and dodge little spaceships, fling angry birds in a 3D space, or play wacky sports games, it's all a lot of fun. All of it, being in VR, is incredibly immersive, transporting you into a new world every single time. Fifth, and lastly, is the price. Now, the price point of the Quest is almost as important as its other features. Starting at $399, you're getting a fully room-scale VR system with great games, a comfortable headset, quality wireless controllers, and a completely tether-free experience. You don't need to stump up any more money for additional hardware. It's a fantastic system. I've been Cam. I'm at Cam Bunsen on Twitter if you want to follow me on there or ask me questions. As always, the comment section down below is also open. I'll see you again in the next one.